Okay, guys. Um, I had to do a complete re reboot on my computer, so I'm just gonna make a, a video without showing everybody. Um, I will leave everything in the description box below, though. But I don't want to lose my thought. Um, okay, so I I'm in the Book of Enoch lately, and what I just found in chapter ten, um, we have. Biblical, what I call biblical proof, or some people, I guess the more proper term would say evidence, but I think it's pretty clear when we look at all the scriptures from a bird's eye view, is King Solomon was versed in the book of Enoch. Okay, now let me make my point here. Um, many of us know it's common knowledge that um, Jude, brother of Jesus, um, quoted the book of Enoch as scripture. Um, the apostle Peter in Second Peter chapter 2, he doesn't just talk about what Enoch talks about. He literally is using Enoch as a reference. Um, so w we know that the apostles thought of the book of Enoch as scripture. We can even go as far to as the parables of Yeshua himself when he said, consider the lilies of the field. Um, this could go, uh, this could be compared to the earlier chapters of Enoch, uh, ver chapters three all the way to verse, to chapter six. So Yeshua, um, of course he considered Enoch as scripture because they're Yeshua's words. Um, we have in the, in the text, the, uh, Testament of the Twelve Patriarchs, which are the death testaments of all the sons of Jacob. Um, throughout all those testaments, um, I will leave the link below. You can find it or um, maybe I'll copy and paste it. I have all the references where our Twelve Patriarchs, the sons of Jacob, refer to the Book of Enoch as Scripture. Okay? We even have... Um, evidence in the book of jubilees that abraham i mean abraham was taught under enoch as a child but abraham was did study the writings of enoch um that was for sure uh noah as well so here something i've never known before i don't think anyone knows before but when we compare enoch this couple verses in Enoch chapter 10 to the wisdom of Solomon it's very clear that King Solomon was well versed in the book of Enoch it's very clear if you believe King Solomon wrote the wisdom of Solomon it's amazing so I'm just gonna copy and paste everything below and leave it for you guys um now I'm just gonna say why do a lot of people reject the book of Enoch um, basically the flat earth thing is a stumbling block and that's okay. I'm not, I'm not going to convince people, tell people what to believe or whatever, but, um, but we know that the book of Enoch is messianic prophecy. It is the inspired word of Yah. And, um, but overall, if we find ourselves picking and choosing what is right and what is wrong out of that book, we're probably in error in our doctrine. So, um, uh, so I'll just leave it at that. But with all the other evidence, I'm just going to repeat myself to recap. Uh, we clearly know Jude considered Enoch as scripture. Okay. Um, Peter considered Enoch as scripture. The 12 patriarchs of Jacob considered the book of Enoch, the book of Enoch that we have now, as scripture. And... Uh, Yeshua consider the book of Enoch as scripture so now when we look at one of those Sethany uh, texts newly translated uh, we could see why this is about um, just because it's not in our Bibles does not mean it is not the inspired word of Yah or it does not mean it was not considered scripture by our patriarchs in our Bibles because they didn't have Bibles back then they didn't have a canon like we did back then. But um, 
this is really amazing. So, okay, links in the description box below, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in.